Welcome back everybody to another guide video. This video is a goal guide on how much profit you can make and also the difference between the 50% and the 25% chance at rarer materials. You can make gold by salvaging exotic and rare armors, but only you can make gold by salvaging rare weapons. This method is a gamble since you can't get ectos all the time from salvaging the weapons and also gaining the additional materials. To make profit or break even, you need to find at least 2 ectos for exotic armor and also 1 ecto for rare weapons or armors to at least break even. Any less ectos will almost always be a loss for you. The Black Lion Salvage Kit has 50% chance at rarer materials. Doesn't salvage your rune or sigil on the item and will also return the rune or sigil to the player. In order to purchase this, it costs 300 gems or you can buy it for 3 Black Lion statuettes. Or found for free from the monthly login reward chest of the Black Lion goods. The next contender is the 25%. And in this category, there are three items which are the same. And these items are Master's Salvage Kit, Silver Fed Salvage Omatic, or Mystic Salvage Kit. And all these three items have the same exact stats. Only the difference is how you can get them. Master's Salvage Kit can be bought from any merchant for 15 silver, 36 copper. Mystic Salvage Kit is made from the Mystic Forge after using Journeyman Salvage Kit, Fine Salvage Kit, Master Salvage Kit and also 3 Mystic Forge Stones. Silver Fed Salvage Omatic is purchased for 500 gems and also isn't always available to purchase and every time you use it, so every salvage, it will cost 60 copper per use. Every time you salvage an item with a sigil or rune, you would have 80% chance for the kit to salvage that rune and give you the salvage materials. So the most profitable way is to salvage armors with the element of brilliance and you would have a chance to get the charm of brilliance. For the first test, I will be using the Black Lion Salvage Kit and with this I will be salvaging 25 exotic headpieces and they are Norgu's Mask. I have bought these items for 5 gold, 15 silver and 1 of 5 copper. And after selling the results, I have gotten 9 gold, 81 silver and 98 copper. For this test, I will be salvaging 25 exotic headpieces, which are Menlo's Mask. I have purchased these for 5 gold, 49 silver and 25 copper and out of selling the results, I have acquired 12 gold, 18 silver and 29 copper in items. You might think that I have made more money, but it is because, as I said before, it salvages the rooms and since this item has the element of brilliance, I have acquired 3 charms of brilliance. For the next test, I will be showing you why exotic weapons are bad to salvage and make profit of. Exotic weapons cost more and are hard to break even or even make profit from them. I salvaged 5 spike clubs with black lime salvage kit and only made 1 gold, 95 silver, 38 copper from all the 5 items. Then I salvaged 5 spy clubs with silver fed salvage omatic and only made 66 silver 49 copper. I bought all the 10 weapons for 5 gold, 76 silver and 30 copper and after selling the salvaged outcome it only gave me 2 gold, 19 silver and 59 copper. For this test I will be salvaging 40 rare armors, 20 with the black lion salvage kit and 20 with the silver fed salvage omatic. I have bought these for 2 gold and 88 silver. With the items received, I sold them for 4 gold, 23 silver, 4 to 1 copper. This made me a profit of 1 gold, 35 silver and 4 to 1 copper. For the next test, I will be using the silver fed salvage omatic. I bought these for 2 gold and 54 silver. The items received sold for 3 gold, 5 silver, 9 to 1 copper. Included with the profit I made, I'm going to reduce 
the 12 silver used to salvage these items. I made a profit of 39 silver and 91 copper. In conclusion, with the Black Lion Salvage Kit, I ended up making more money for the 50% chance of rare items. In the end, I made profit. But what do you think? Are you interested in using this method for gold making? Let me know in the comment section below so I will know who is interested. Don't forget to hit the bell, subscribe and leave a like on the video. More upcoming content are coming soon. I will be releasing 1-2 to two videos every week so you should stay tuned for more guides. I hope this guide helped you a lot and enjoy this video. See you in the next guide and have a great day.